Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the time to discuss for the quiz contest which was conducted on 17th of January 2022 and we will know who are the top 3 performers and we will also discuss very important concept related to ecology and evolution. So if you want to prepare for the environmental science entrances, you can join our telegram group learn for the environment for the daily quizzes which will help you in the examination. So link for the telegram and instagram page is given in the description. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So if you want to be the top performer, then you should go through all these rules by pausing the video. So you should go through all these rules for participating in the next quiz. So let's discuss the questions. The first question was flippers of penguins and dolphins are the examples of what kind of evolution or selection. So here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, they are the examples of convergent evolution type. And what is this convergent evolution we'll know in this next slide. So as you can see on the left hand side we are having the picture of penguin as well as dolphin and both these fins of dolphin as well as the flippers of penguin they are used for what purpose? They are used for swimming purpose. So we'll write here for swimming purpose they are used but these two organisms are having different ancestor. Let us assume ancestor A and ancestor B but they have converged in terms of their usage of the organs so for swimming they are using the same thing that is flippers or the fins so this will be called as the convergent they have converged from different ancestor to make a similar habit or make a similar kind of function this is called as convergent evolution which are having analogous organs similarly one more thing is that divergent evolution so there will be one common ancestor but they will diverge and they will perform different function with the same organ and that organ will be called as homologous organ common ancestor but different function so i hope you have noted down and you have understood the concept convergence evolution and divergence evolution let's move to the next question question number two is on your screen question number two was embryological support for the evolution was proposed by which of the following scientists and here the correct option will be option number A this was supported by Ernest Haeckel yes Ernest Haeckel who gave the term ecology was the one who supported for the embryological evolution and we will know this concept in this next slide very very important so this embryological evidence for evolution is also known as biogenetic law so it is a theory proposed by Ernest Haeckel as we have discussed in the 1860s so this was because of the development and evolution this study he made in Germany and what this concept says. It says that the stages of development for an animal embryo are the same as other animals adult stages or forms. So according to this theory it helps us in finding a common ancestry between the organism between the animal with the help of the embryo. As you can see in this right hand side picture so these are some of the embryo developmental stage for different organism first is case of the fish so as you can see in the case of fish the initial stages are more or less matching with the embryological stages of salamander so that gave the relationship that the common ancestor for both fish and salamander similarly as you can see the embryological stages of turtle and chicken this is turtle and this is chicken these are also quite similar but after that they are changing their different organism one is turtle one is chicken so that also gives us the understanding about their common ancestry so the embryological development stages if you study then that will give rise to the common ancestry finding which will help in the development and evolution theory given by the biogenetic law or the embryological evidence for evolution by Ernest Haeckel so I hope you have understood Let's move on to the next question. Next question number three was from his experiments Miller produced that is Stanley Miller produced amino acid by mixing which of the following chemicals in a closed flask along with the degree Celsius certain pressure and temperature. So here the correct option will be option number D. Yes by mixing methane, hydrogen, ammonia, water at 800 degrees Celsius in a closed flask two scientists were involved one was Stanley Miller other was Harold Urey so this is called as Miller and Urey experiment what they found they found 
you should note down they found that several organic amino acids had formed spontaneously from the inorganic raw material so this was supporting the origin of life in our planet so their experiment lends support to the theory that the first life forms arose spontaneously so this was the conclusion you can say that first life form arose spontaneously through naturally occurring chemical reaction so this was the overall conclusion and they also suggested that organic amino acid has formed from the inorganic raw material so this was from the miller and urey experiment very very important note down all this chemical 800 degree celsius and these two conclusion let's move to the next question next question coming again from the embryological portion of evolution but this time it is asking that embryological support for the evolution was rejected by whom so we know that ernest haeckel proposed so this option will be not there but who rejected this theory this theory was rejected by karl ernest von baer or it is also called as karl von baer only so he rejected this embryological theory that was given by ernest haeckel coming to the next question next question most of you will be knowing the answer so the question was evolution of different species in a given geographical area starting from a point and spreading to other habitat is called as what so this phenomena is called as adaptive radiation yes the finch darwin's finches we all know will know here in this next slide more briefly so here adaptive radiation this word suggest what so it refers to the adaptation of an organism that enables them that means that enables them to spread successfully or radiate into other environment radiation we know it will spread so that word is using that radiation that means that organism is spreading to different environment in order to give its adaptability in order of adaptation and they are changing their feature what are their changing features for example in case of the darwin's finches there was a common ancestor but when the environment change they have to adapt to different situation for example some of the adaptive radiation where the finches have developed different kinds of beaks some of them were crushing beaks some of them were probing beaks grasping beaks and parrot beak so some were fruit eaters next were insect eaters cactus eater and seed eaters so likewise one single organism has evolved into different kind of organism in order to adapt to that situation so they radiated to different place according to their adaptive radiation and they are having different function for their beaks so this is an example of adaptive radiation we all know from our school days and this was it from this video now we will announce the results for the top 3 performers and the top 3 performers are Ishan Khan, Khadija Samreen and Akash Kumar. So congratulations to all of you and you have done well. Thanks for participating in this quiz and keep performing well. Subscribe the channel to get all further updates. Join us on Telegram and Instagram. Keep smiling, believe in yourself. See you guys in our next video.